Hello everyone, here is Karam. In this tutorial, we are gonna learn how to model double line air ducts in Autofluid. From Autofluid 10 menu, select circular and rectangular duct toolbars. Then click on rectangular duct. Select the latest preference file or the one you are working on. Then you click OK. Then select the type of network, for example, fresh air, and you click OK. Select the size of the duct, 900 by 700. Right click and select from above. Select normal elbow. Then Extend the length of the duct in a similar way of drawing a line in AutoCAD and then right click and select American Elbow. Change the width to 700 and then go down. Now right click to select go down and select normal elbow. Now right click and choose break to create an offset. Type the length of the offset and the break angle. The length will be 250 with a break angle 30 degree then the total length will be 721 millimeter and click ok select the direction of the offset and then continue the drawing the next step is to add a y branch so select the branch connection to elbows and then type the width for 150 for example and the angle 45 and then the width for the second elbow is 450 and the angle is 90 degree and then you click OK. Now on which side you want to continue for example we will select this side then move to the right then right click and end with a cap now to continue from this side select this command pick up from two lines and select one line and go down then right click and select circular transformation and select the diameter 450 and select centered and then go down now right click and select modified diameter and select 250 the reduction is also centered then go down and continue and with a simple click go to the right and create an elbow after that, go to the right and change diameter to 160 and select eccentric and then go to the right. Then right click and select a cap. Now to connect a circular duct to a rectangular duct, select circular duct select the type of network and then select the diameter right click and select the branch connection select a circular duct on rectangular one and then select the line to connect to then right click and select register at the end of network Select the flow direction, air supply or air return or extraction. Then select 
the type of register. You have two options with a plenium or without plenium. So select this. Then you need to you need to enter the dimension of the plenium and the dimensions of the register. And then you click OK. Then you need to specify the direction of the arrows. Click one here, one here, one here, one here. And then right click to confirm. Now to connect a circular duct to another circular duct, click on circular duct, select the type of network, then select the diameter 250, and then right click, select a branch connection, but now we will select on circular duct. Select this, and then select the line to connect to, and then move to the right. Now right click and select double round branch 45 degrees. Now select the side to continue. Then right click and select upwards. Select the side to continue. Then move to the right and then select downwards to connect a register with a flexible duct to a rectangular duct click on circular duct select the type of network specify the diameter then right click and select with a register specify the connection flexible duct flow direction air supply insert by one point and select the type of registers Specify the dimension of the plenium and the dimensions of the register. Then you click OK. Choose the location of the register. Specify the flow directions. Then right click to confirm. Draw the flexible duct. Right click switch to rigid. Right click and select a branch connection. Select on rectangular and then select the connected line. And here we are done. And with that, we've reached the end of our tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you soon in another one. Goodbye.